yes a student like in this organic resin used to remove permanent hardness of water this is also known as that is the water obtained after the removal of hardness is known as demineralized water demineralized means there will be no ions which are called minerals so it is also known as un ionized water student often you can find these terminologies in the water bottle which we are buying from the market here sometime it was labeled as the mineralized water or unionized water student in previous method we checked that the cationic impurities present in water like calcium and magnesium can be removed by the zeolite but remember in previous method only cationic impurities can be removed the anionic impurities that is what chlorides and sulfates still remains in the water and the presence of these impurities can make the water impure or hard so if we remove all type of ionic impurities present in water then we are using organic resin method student this is called ion <coughs> exchanger method also or ion exchange method means all types of ions are exchanged okay like which type of ions are present so there are some cations like what calcium cation and what magnesium cation and the anionic impurities are also there which are these anions these are chlorides and what sulfates these responsible for hardness of water that is impurity of water so if we remove all these ions then our water will be free from all type of impurities so that we are using organic resin resin method student this is the most advanced and the most popular method which are applied in the modern day day water filter getting okay. what the the components are what in this method components of method okay that is this method first one the cation exchange exchanger cation exchanger vessel actually it consists two vessel first one cation exchanger vessel it consists it consists insoluble okay macro molecular acid okay derived from derived from macro organic acid organic acid okay having long chain long chain hydrocarbon hydrocarbon okay it exchanges only cations cations okay how this say suppose this is the acid long chain organic acid long chain means the large number of r alkyl radical is there it is capable to exchange ca cation or mg2 cation how it happens actually what the h cation present in the acid can remove that is can exchange calcium and magnesium present here like now it become r c double bond o o twice and mg or you can write one more r c double bond o twice ca thus here the h cation is getting removed okay now what now the responsible inorganic ions are removed by the h therefore this is called cation exchanger vessel 
one more vessel through the water is passed okay that is now the water passed in the second vessel will be acidic in nature so this is called anionic exchanger anionic exchanger okay. it consists it consists basic ammonia derivative compound ammonia derivative compound okay what you can call it you can call it r nh3 and what oh and it exchanges and it exchanges all anions all anions how it happens say r now nh3 and what oh it combines with which type of anions impurities are there chlorides and sulfate so you can take chlorides or you can take what sulfates okay after the exchanging it become r nh3 cl i am taking with cl plus there will be what oh anion that means what that means here the cations as well as exchange both are removed okay by the two exchanger present in two vessel thus now the water will free from all types of ions and ultimately from first exchanger the h cation is obtained while from the second exchanger oh anion is x is obtained these anions now react with each other to form water that means neither the remaining water that is obtained water consist acidic nature nor basic nature so this is the most advanced technology